So we chose ammonia um, for its properties, um, both functional and from a sustainability point of view. So functionally, it works in the range of temperatures that we're working with. Um, but at the same time, ammonia works for us because of its credentials from a sustainability point of view. It's a natural refrigerant uh, and its potential for, glo for global warming, warming is zero and its potential in terms of damage to the ozone layer is, is, is none. Uh, so for both those reasons, it's a great, uh, a great material to work with. I think the most important thing we did when we designed the factory was to put heating and cooling engineers alongside process engineers and ask of the two teams to think about how we optimise the needs of both. Putting the two teams together was a revelation and made a massive difference to the way we thought about designing the factory. So in terms of the benefits of the system, and we believe that we are operating with something like 60% of the energy demand um, that would be required to, to, to run a, a plant of equivalent size. Uh, so it's a significant uh, difference. For us, the long-term gain is if we can, uh, if you like, show people what's possible and influence and inspire others to uh, look at the way we've designed and take those ideas into their own future plans for new factories or in fact indeed for retrofitting into other factories. If we can do that then the long-term gain is is a multiplier, a massive multiplier of, of what we've just done here and that's our game is how to inspire wider change and make a big difference. <laughs>